In this problem, we are given a ball with an inner radius capital R. In the ball, we have a solid sphere of mass m and radius small r. Initially, the sphere is positioned such that its center makes an angle theta with respect to the vertical axis. So, the ball is then released and rolls down without slipping. The question is, what is the speed of the ball at the very bottom? So, what we can use here is the conservation of energy, conservation of mechanical energy. The gravitational mechanical energy that we have here, the gravitational potential energy that we have here, is converted into the kinetic energy at the bottom. So, if we say that this level here is a zero level for the potential energy, then the original potential energy is determined by this height h. So let's calculate this height h. This distance here is equal to big R minus small r. So this distance again is big R minus the small r. h is equal to this big distance minus this small distance. So the big distance is r minus small r minus this thing, which is equal to r minus small r times cosine of theta. Just look at this triangle. This angle is theta. This side of the triangle is equal to big r minus small r. So this would be cosine of that. So we conclude that h is equal to r minus r, 1 minus cosine theta. So let's leave it here, we're going to use it later. So let's now write down the conservation of uh, total mechanical energy one. So total mechanical energy initial would be equal to total mechanical energy final. This is equal to potential energy initial plus kinetic energy initial equals potential energy final plus kinetic energy uh, final. Potential energy initial is equal to m mass of the solid of the solid sphere g h, where h is this distance, which we've calculated here. So we can say that this is equal to mgh. Initially, the solid sphere is at rest, so kinetic energy is equal to zero. In the final state, which is at the bottom, potential energy is equal to zero. Kinetic energy is equal to translational part, which is mv squared over two, plus rotational part, which is I omega squared over 2, where I is the moment of inertia of the solid sphere and omega is the angular speed with which the ball is rolling at the bottom. Now, in the problem, we are also given the moment of inertia of a solid sphere with respect to the uh, diameter, and that is 2 over 5 m r square. We also know a relation between omega and r, and this is equal to v omega r. So omega is equal to v over r. We can write this relation because it says in the problem that the ball is rolling without slipping. So v is equal to omega r. So let's use that information and plug it into this equation. So we have mgh equals m over 2 v squared plus 
instead of pi, I can say 2 over 5 mr squared and then 1 over 2, which is this 2, times omega squared and instead of omega, I will use v squared over r squared so here, you can see that r cancels out here you have 2 that cancels out and overall you can see that m cancels out as well so you have gh equals v squared 1 over 2, that's from here plus 1 over 5, that's from here so v, so this is equal to v squared 7 over 10 so v is then equal to 10 over 7 g h square root now we know that h is equal to this so let's plug it in 10 over 7 g r minus small r 1 minus cosine theta square root and that's the answer for the translational velocity of the ball at the bottom.